Hi people, it's been a while we did this and trust me, I've actually missed you guys. I miss you like crazy. But yeah, I'm live on the street and we need to talk to Nigerians. We need to know what they think about certain issues. You know, people go into relationship for different reasons and trust me, I'm even starting to get confused at this point. Some say they go into it because they want the person they want, they want to love. To, to, to give them money some say they want to go into relationship for love some say the moment is religious I'm ready to key into that relationship so today on the street we are going to be asking Nigerians what they think about this like what is the first thing you will go for like what's the first thing you consider before you actually go into a relationship is it love is it money is it sex is it beauty and um, what else religious status yes let us know so this is night.com TV and we're live on the street let's find out guys character yeah so tell me more about that. yeah i need to know a family background then also i need to know the kind of quality she possesses that can make me fall in love with her so, her character is fine you're good to go it doesn't even matter you can actually love her without her loving sure I don't care if she's not working educated and all no, no, that no she, she has to be educated she has to be educated I can't uh, put a woman at home and I start sending her to school, but she must at least maximum maybe HND, BSc. Is that composite? She has a MSc. You can't actually put a woman in the house, like. But what do you have to say about people that get married to people that are not educated and? Well, that's their own choice. Mine is she must be educated. Is key for you. Very, very key. So, aside from um, character, what else would you consider? Like, what's the second thing you consider after character? She must be a Christian. Then, uh, beauty. She must be beautiful. Yeah. Consider the character first. Because they say charity begins at two. It's how you are brought up that you will act outside. Where you know the character. You can't just fall in love with anybody. Make friend or another. You will see how the person behave, movements, dressing, everything. Because if I say respect, it's part of character. If you see somebody that doesn't respect elderly and does not work properly, and also if the person is educated or not. You have to consider because it's good to be educated. If you don't go to school, you can't learn much and know what is going on. So, if you see the person, you know that the person is a good someone, and you've seen the character and the house the person belongs to, the family, the family, before you can move with. So, you just move with anybody. No, it's not good. Because in the near future, another thing can happen. But you have to study the person you want to either like from the school or in your working place or any other place. You ought to study the person. If you are in a party, before sitting by the side of someone or if you are already seated at the right of that person, be watching that person. Because that person may have bad behavior. It's part of the character. Just watch how they will do all what you some people before they serve something from the party, they've already taken it, put it inside the bag. It's part of bad character. Yeah? Some people will be complain, 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 complain. They won't wait until the celebrant give them what they want. Or what so now, in, in a situation whereby you know all those young people they just say okay I saw this person and I'm in love with her I'm in no, love no. so is, is love a key point to no 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 love is nothing if there is no good character in the old days before we marry Auntie, if you see somebody Auntie, ah, this man oh, has come to approach me they will ask you do you know their family oh, like where is their house what is the name of their family? Their hometown. That is what our parents used to ask before allowing you to fall in love with anybody. You just fall in love. The future will tell. If anything happens, you are the person to be blamed. 
because you don't know the grassroots of that uh, family because before you fall in love of the best either boy or gay you must watch and search well. what did you see in your husband before you married him ah <laughs> anyway before i married him he was a gentleman but he dated me almost three to four years because before i can accept him because i ought to watch first thing I thought he was my he was my junior because he did not uh, have big uh, sasha like me. I was watching that one, and uh, when I was walking, if you just come near to my working place, just sit down like this. The next thing I see is looking for something. He try and know our house. One of his intimate friends took him to our house. He took my junior brother as friend. When he come to our house, just now, my father was asking me, who is this man? I said, I don't know him. That my junior brother will be saying, my sister is telling like, oh. he come and greet her. I don't know, I just walk out and go. But at the end of the day, he brought his father to my father to come and tell them that his son, no, like this, they, they said he will not go until she answer. But what is in need by that time, you must obey your parents. Unknown that my father has known his father before. They fought they, during the time of uh, action group something. They fought together. So, they have to tell me that he's, he's the man you will marry. No, he's, he's a gentleman. Until we marry. You know, Lagos people. When we marry, finish, get babies, uh -huh, he, he begin to see another allergies. Yes, I don't have interest in that. It's my uh, matrimonial house that I follow. Till I give back to many children for him. The character Sex. They love now. They love. So you love the woman. It doesn't matter whether her character is um, somehow. You study character. No, you have to study now. It's, You've been interested of a lady that ah, this girl, I like her shape, I like her apple step. From there, you approach her, if you show you the love, then you know, from there you study her character. That's why you have a relationship. For you to study a woman that is, if this is a quality you want at home, they are ready to face, they are ready to face your family, you understand? Know, that's why you look at all those uh, aspects first. To consider religion like uh, this person is the same faith as me and we can no, raise that. It can be my religion and their character and attitude do not, do not, do not correspond with my family. Like for example now it can be rude to my mother. You can, they, they can send her a message you will say you refuse to you know understand to bear it to have that patient. That's a good way you have to be patient and and, and enjoy anything that I'll call and have that fear for the husband. That's it. What do you have to say about those people that get married because they like the shape, like that Coca-Cola shape? They are missing the road. They are missing the road. That's why they make a proverb that it's not the face you are getting married to. It's the heart, the character itself. That is it. <sighs> well, when I'm married, but my first consideration is going to be religion. That's personal to me. I'm born again. Um, uh, most of my time I spend in the church. So anything that I'm going to do is going to be driven from the church. And that's where I met my wife anyway. So, so the person is religious for you, that's like a, you know, 70% already. Uh, well, that is an entry point. Uh, not yeah, entry point. Yes. Like Other considerations to come from there. My um, primary source of information is the Holy Spirit. So I pray and then and get information from well, well, what do you have to say about those that are actually going to relationships because um, they like the shape they like the look the you know everything vain i, I don't know well to people like that um i'll say this is it a sustainable development that tight breast or bomb bomb how long is it going to stand another 50 years are you going to run after another tight figure again so if it's not sustainable then and then sex if it's sex 
How long are you going to maintain your energy and sex drive? All these things don't consider, but going first through the um, religion, then I think love should come first. I mean, next afterwards, because you marry your friend, you weather any storm. When money goes, your friend is always there. So, um, I will consider the character of the person. Because to me, character is at the center of everything. Whatever you are doing, character is too important. Because it's character that can make the two of you compatible. Thank you. After character, what's the next thing you go for? After character, love. Because uh, if you are in love with somebody that has no good character, it makes no meaning. You cannot last in that relationship. But if the person has character and then love follows, you can be able to blend in that relationship. For me, character first, then love follows. You're not a fan of um, the big shape, like, ah, oh, she's so beautiful and all that. Uh, beauty is something that every man fancy, but in relationship, that is not the first thing. First thing is character. If the person has character, you can be able to take her for who she is. Yeah. She has, like, you know, long tribal marks from the center of her head to her face, and she has character. That's it for you. Honestly, character overshadows everything. Tribal mark, whatever sentiment, character overshadows. Yeah, specifically uh, in going into a relationship, I think what I consider most is love. Uh, if you want to look at money and some other factors in going into a relationship, it, it may not last long the way you want it. But if it's based on love and then uh, you're in a relationship based on love, I think it, it will take you all the way. Okay, so if you find a lady and then you connect with her like you're in love, madly in love with her, like that's it for you. You're not going to consider other things like um, family background, character and all of that. No, no. Family background is actually not necessary for me as a person. It's a personal choice. I, I don't want to know your religion. What I want to confirm is that truly you love me and I, actually love, I also love you. I, I don't have issues with uh, family background. I don't have issues where you come from. Other than love, what else would you go for? What's the next thing you go for? After? Character. Yep. Character, um, you can love someone. If the person has no character, of course, uh, there are going to be trouble here and there. One of the person in the relationship will have to manage the situation and all of that. But after love, I think character. Yeah. Thank you.